Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae. I'm a blogger. I run a blog called High Low Lux and I focus on luxury, beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are talking about five ways to elevate your look, look more high end, whatever you want to call it. The first one being neutrals. Um, so I think in general neutrals are a great color palette to wear but also it's easier to kind of fool people with the material choices um, and the fabric choices that you um, have to pick. So you can go with something from a Zara or an H&M. If it's in a black or a nude or a cream, um, neutrals is just easier to pull off um, that the material looks a little more high end than it actually is. Um, with bright colors just like every little thing shows and you can see if something is not as high end. So the look I'm sense. wearing is a great example of a neutral monochromatic look that can really look elevated. So this outfit, the shoes are from Forever 21. They're just a little mule. Um, the jeans and the top are both from Zara and the hair clip is from Amazon. So this outfit all together, less than $100, but because of the classic fit, simple silhouette and then the neutral kind of monochromatic look it definitely pulls a lot high a lot more high-end than it obviously is it's all from Zara mostly um, and again even with the shoe choice picking something in a black right this is a faux suede they cost I think $22 from Forever 21 but if I had this in like a bright pink or blue you could probably tell that the material um, is cheaper than it really is um, or as cheap as it is but because it's in a black it's harder to tell like these could easily be something from Nordstrom kind of like middle of the road brand um, or even something more expensive so this is a great example again I'll just turn around and then I'm going to show you two other options of neutral or monochromatic looks just to give you a better um, idea of what I mean. Okay, so this is the next look showing you monochromatic and showing you a neutral color palette. Um, so these are the same shoes, so same Forever 21 mules and then a pair of mango black shorts, um, a tank top, I think this was from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so just like a camisole and then a Zara black blazer. But again, this just feels a lot more elevated and a lot more kind of high-end than it okay, actually so is. So here is the last monochromatic look. So this is an all-white look. This is a Zara shirt, Zara skirt, oh, and Zara shoes. Um, I just put on a, a simple kind of strappy um, sandal with these. But again, um, it's all about the cut, the silhouette, keeping it classic, um, and then the same color palette and keeping it in a neutral. And I think this looks like a very elevated very chic put together outfit. Um, okay guys, so today. here is an example of oversized or sizing up. So this shirt was actually thrifted. Um, it is just like a silky, I don't think it's real silk, it was $8. So um, this is just like a silky button up blouse and this is an extra large. Um, I actually put shoulder pads in it so just making also that helps elevate it so feel free to customize things. Um, and then this denim skirt is a size eight I believe so I'm a size four and in tops I'm a size um, small but again this size um, the shirt is a 1x the skirt is a size eight I still have it on with um, the little strappy Zara sandals but sizing up just helps things kind of like lay more flattering if this skirt was my actual size a size four the look would be completely different it would be super tight It'd probably be like that um, and that's just not the vibe that's not the elevated easy effortless look that I want to go for and same thing with the shirt um, the oversized fit of it just gives it a more relaxed easy effortless look effortless is a major key that's what I'm always trying to go for and to me effortless just exudes luxury it exudes like being more expensive elevating a look um, so this is a great example of like what sizing up can really do for your overall outfit because this outfit if it was my size and the top and the bottom have a, do a totally okay so this feel. is a, example number two of oversize so this may not be everyone's cup of tea this is a little more of the trendy oversize but this is an oversized blazer and this was also thrifted this was thrifted from the men's department um just at my local thrift store um but you can find things like this everywhere nordstrom frankie shop like these are just really in right now um but this just gives a very to me elevated look helps that it's still 
in the neutral but just the oversized feel um, if this was just my regular fitted size blazer it would feel very corporate and worky um, instead of just very again effortless easy going um, stylish and luxurious which is what we're going for so just wanted to give another example I popped back on my forever 21 heels that are just gonna go with everything this summer they also come in like a nude kind of almost like off-white color and I'm very seriously thinking about getting them so just another example we're gonna move on to my third tip okay guys so tip number three is purchasing designer accessories so think belts sunglasses jewelry necklaces things like that that can really elevate your look um, and still keep you within a reasonable budget so I have a few examples here that I'm going to try on um, the first example are these sunglasses I'm a huge sunglass person these are Celine and I think I got them from Nordstrom Rack for like 150 um, so still a reasonably good deal um, compared to normal sunglass prices but also it's very entry level if you want to get into designer you want that luxury feel sunglasses and accessories are a great way to go so these I feel just give me like a very classic um, elevated look so I really like this style and again for sunglasses I try to stick with more classic shapes or just things that I feel like frame my face well and my face shape um, another pair that I love and they make a statement are these Fendi sunglasses and this is kind of a different shape I've never had this shape of sunglasses before but I just think this really elevates a look I can run around in like sweats and just like throw these on and my hair can be a little disheveled but I still feel <laughs> put together and somewhat elevated so sunglasses definitely help um, another huge um, piece that I'm loving right now is my Celine necklace um, you guys ask me about this a lot because I wear it a lot because I love it but I also just feel like it makes such a statement um, when I have it on I'm not gonna put it on because I'll take it back off but <laughs> you get the idea but I wear this a lot and it's a statement piece um, and it was a few hundred dollars I want to say 300 I can't remember I got it last summer um, but still like less expensive than buying a Celine bag um, but still gives that luxurious vibe and really can elevate um, a look so love this and lastly I'm gonna show the old faithful <laughs> Gucci belt um, I still have my Gucci belt I still wear my Gucci belt um, listen I'm not into trends if I spend my money on it and I still like it I'm gonna wear it um, I don't wear it as much like with pants and on the waist anymore I usually wear it um, with dresses if I want like something kind of like tightened in the waist to give me more of a shape uh, but this also can elevate your look so I love good accessory pieces um, I think it's a great way to one just have an entry level into a brand that you really like a, a luxury brand uh, but then also to just give you kind of a more elevated feel okay so, moving on to tip number four I don't have any examples right now that I can remember but the tip is tailoring right now I have I think four items at the tailor so if you want a video on that let me know and I can show you those items but tailoring makes a huge difference, especially if you're not spending a lot of money. Um, a great example, actually I do have an example, are like these pants that are a part of a suit. Um, but like the bottoms come are supposed to come to the ankle. So I got these tailored to make sure the fit was like spot on because it just really makes it look more expensive than it is. Um, but also like right now I have a dress that I just ordered and it was probably like 50 or $60. Um, but it's longer because it's made for like, I don't know, a model. So it's like all the way to my knees, but it's like a very like whimsical summer dress. So I got it hemmed just to shorten it because you, typically you would think like I'm just going to send it back it doesn't fit great but tailoring can really elevate a look and really make you look more expensive and put together same thing with blazers shirts anything if it is off a little bit in the shoulders and the waist just get it tailored usually you can go to your local dry cleaners or depending on where you live you might have like a specialty tailor um, but usually things can get tailored for like 10 bucks depending on like how aggressive the tailoring is um, another great example I actually this is more of a customization but I bought this suit um, from my local thrift shop and I had the idea that I wanted to turn the pants into shorts so that's what I did so like now they're shorts these are just regular wide leg 
suit pants. Um, and I think this cost me to take it up that much. I think it was like 20 bucks. But to me, the suit was $20 altogether. So to get the look I wanted and to have it fit me really well, I paid in total $40. So um, great tip when you're thrifting, but anytime you're buying something and it's a little cheaper and you really have a vision for how you would like it to fit or how you saw it maybe styled somewhere more high end like just take it to a tailor and see what they can do before you just nix it off and, and pass okay guys it. i'm so, back with the fifth tip also i'm back with my clip because we missed it right right um so my fifth tip is buying pre-loved so this is if you do want to buy designer if you want to buy luxury items I believe always invest in designer classic pieces and I love a good handbag and I love good shoes. I'm not at the place in my life where I can just go into Dior and like drop a couple racks on like an entire look, but having a Dior handbag and putting it with a Zara piece, I feel totally elevated and very luxurious. So my tip is to buy pre-loved. There are so many options now. I personally love Fashion File. That's where I buy most of my handbags from. There's also the Real Real, which I actually have purchased from the Real Real. I got this cute little Fendi baguette from the Real Real, I think a year and a half ago, and this was like I think three hundred dollars. So very good, very good deal. Um, but there's also like Vestiaire Collective. There's certain like Instagram people that like specialize in luxury um but i love fashion file and the real real specifically because they do authenticate so they have like uh the people in their company that make sure everything that they're selling because they're selling it for other people right so if i want to sell something i would send it to fashion file and then they would sell it for me but they have people who authenticate items and make sure that they're real and legit and you don't have to worry about it so i want to show two items that i bought from there so this was my first no actually my second Chanel purchase it's a classic flap and this is like a small medium it's very vintage which is another reason I love buying pre-loved but I got this I want to say for $1,600 that is a lot of money I am very aware but if you go into Chanel right now a classic flap is around $6,000 um, and the great thing about Fashion File is they usually have a Black Friday sale so I know like this I think I got 15% off on their Black Friday sale plus free shipping or something like that um, so obviously this can definitely make you look more elevated but it save it can save you so much money another example is one of my newest additions and this is a Celine box bag sorry I don't know if the light is too bright um, but this is normally 4300 in stores and I got mine for 2000 which again it's still a lot of money but that's half off like literally 50% savings um, so I always, always tell people if it's something that you can buy secondhand, buy it. Now there are certain things that aren't going to be available, right? Because you literally have to wait for someone to sell it. Um, so there are bags that I have bought in the store, but I always look secondhand first. So that is my fifth tip. Um, obviously will make you look more high end, more elevated, but it's definitely a great way to save money. And if you want to save and treat yourself and get something special, I always suggest looking pre-loved first. So that's it guys. Um, I had to put my blazer back on just so we could like end this with a look. So here's my oversized blazer that is a bit controversial. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please leave me a comment below. If you have any tips that you can share with our Lux family on how to, how to feel high end or elevated, please leave them below. Please share. No secrets here. Um, again, if you have stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. I upload twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. Also follow me on Instagram at HiloLux. And I also have a blog that I write on Mondays and Fridays and that is HiloLux.com. I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.